Hi guys, this is part four of my January update. I've uh, moved out of the valley and up to the top. Um, it's still very windy and I've had to turn on the flash because um, it's getting much darker. But hopefully it's not too noisy for you and you can still kind of pick out my voice. Um, so I've just done a whole film about um, sensations to do with energy and kind of spiritual aspects of um, healing and um, feeling better within oneself. Um, something that I'd like to talk about that's a bit more, um, I suppose, mental, psychological side of things. Um, so where shall I start? <clears throat> so now, I feel like I'm on the side of, of this illness in terms of um, I'm having more good days than bad or good moments than bad moments because it's not always a whole day it can just be sections within a day um, and um, and so yeah lately things have changed on the on the mental aspect um, so before I used to think of myself okay I have this illness that I'm trying to cure I've got to heal myself of this illness and I would never say my illness because um, I didn't want to own it. I didn't want to feel like it was mine, that I was kind of holding on to it or something. I didn't want it to be part of me. And so I think that kind of language that you use is really important. So I always called it the illness. Or, so it's like not really connected to me exactly. Um, and But now I, I think I'm going through a different stage of thinking about it so um so now it's kind of um how shall i put it so whenever i feel pain i kind of i kind of have this feeling of of gratitude in the sense that um it's kind of my body talking to me, as in what's being detoxed or what's moving or shifting in my body, um, what things still need to be kind of um, worked through or dealt with. So it's kind of like um, a physical language that I'm listening to, um, to enable me to kind of, I don't know, maybe go into that area, for example, if, if it's my left breast like under my armpit then I'll give that a massage I'm like okay you need some attention you know I'll, I'll give you a massage I'll give you some attention and um, you know if it's if it's somewhere in my head or my ear then I'll I'll put my hand there and I'll give that some love um, I'd also quite often go to my feet and there's you know parts of my feet that can be quite um, firm and so I feel like working on that also is is a good way of um, shifting and moving things in other parts of your body even though I'm not like a reflexologist I know that the feet are um, a really amazing way to kind of uh, make change within the body so yeah this kind of language um, in my mind to do with my body has changed and um, and so yeah I just I don't think of myself as being someone that is ill um, I think of myself as someone that's on the side of kind of I'm more vital I've I've you know I'm this body that's alive and I have energy you know coursing through me not always as much as I would like but there's you know there's these ups and downs that come and go and that these ups and downs and these variations within my day or in my week um, are just this kind of um, physical language that I work with. Um, so the word illness is is not really. I don't say it anymore. It's it's not something that comes up in conversation. Um, it's kind of yeah something I've decided to stop using. I felt like there came a point when it wasn't necessary to use that word anymore. Um, bear with. Bear with. So, um, 
something else that's changed, I suppose, is that before I felt like, you know, I, I really needed um, the herbs to heal me or, um, you know, I had to breathe enough and get oxygen pumping around me and, and move enough to kind of um, get me back on track to health and that I had to do a certain amount of things to kind of make sure that uh, my immune system was functioning well enough and and that, you know, I felt like my adrenal glands or my thymus gland was just so not working. Like, how could I do that on my own, you know, um, without other things to help me? And and now I just, I feel like I've I've kind of been able to come to a place where you know I can I can do yoga in the morning even if it if it's really gentle and I don't even move very much but you know maybe I lie back on my blocks and I open up my chest and I and I breathe like that or I I use my Tibetan singing bowl to bring some vibration if I feel like I, I I'm not in the mood for like chanting or bringing the vibration with my own voice or you know so I'm kind of I, I'm more adaptable and I've got I feel like I've got this tool belt of things that I do and that I that I use on a day-to-day -day basis moment to moment whenever I need to to kind of um, um, so for example if I'm feeling kind of stressed or a bit overwhelmed I'll notice that and I'll, I'll, I'll take myself away and I'll sit somewhere calm and quiet and I'll and I'll breathe through it and I'll just take a moment and then I'll come back into the busy loudness again and and then you know so I, it's kind of yeah what other tools have I got um, if I come to a place where right I'm not functioning well I haven't got enough energy right I'm gonna eat some more food I'm gonna take in some more calories right let's make myself a nice big bowl of all these fruits and maybe spinach and maybe some avocado or some um, coconut milk or cream as my fat and um, and I take in what I need to take in and so all of these things are like part of me keeping up my energy and like the next step in in that day or in the process of me feeling good. Um, so yeah, it's just like a I suppose a, another stage of 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 life, <laughs> and you know we're all at different degrees of ill health or dis ease or ease or well being, you know. Um, so yeah, that's that's been, I suppose, something that I've been working through in the last three or four weeks. It feels like with that kind of language and and my capability of of where I'm at. Yeah, I've still got more films to make, and I hope you're finding me interesting again <laughs> and valuable, and it's worth me continuing on. Um, I know that I'm not talking about lithium so much anymore. It's not so much part of my life. Um, but I do have another film that I'd like to make about um, really in more depth um, panic attacks because I have had some recently and how they can come and go still and um, yeah, men mental health problems that are still there um, but I'm not taking drugs, I'm not taking lithium, I'm not taking medication to stabilise my mood and, um, and what do I do in those kind of scenarios and situations? So yeah, it's too late now for me to carry on, but um, I'll see you again soon. It's been good to connect and um, come back to YouTube and my subscribers. And press the like if, you, if you've enjoyed this series. And, um, and I'll do more again soon. Bye!